Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about troubleshooting Bluetooth issues on your Windows 11 computer. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you want to do is actually go onto your phone and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. So you want to make sure that functionality is enabled. And then once you've done that, go ahead and see if it connects to your Windows computer. If you're still having a problem, you can try right-clicking on the Windows Start button. And go ahead and select Settings. Select System on the left side. And then go down on the right and select Troubleshoot. Underneath Troubleshoot, go ahead and select Other Troubleshooters. You want to go and select underneath Other, select Bluetooth, and then Run. Okay, so you can see in our case our computer does not have Bluetooth, but in your case you want to go ahead and just let it go ahead with the troubleshooting utility. Perhaps the service was turned off, you want to go ahead and check for that too. So go ahead and just select next and it'll show you what it found. If you're still having a problem, you can go ahead and right click on the start button again and select device manager. You want to locate Bluetooth in this list and then right click on the Bluetooth device listed under there. You want to make sure it doesn't say enable device. So you can see if a device is turned on, there'll be an option to disable the device. So, you know, the inverse of that, if a device is disabled, you want to go ahead and enable it. So again, pretty straightforward process on that. And you can go ahead and just close out of here. If you had any updates, go ahead and restart your computer at that point. And then hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem. And one further thing, if you go ahead and open up the start menu again, and one further thing, if you were to right click on the start menu and select settings, select Bluetooth and other devices on the left side. And then you want to go ahead on the right side where it says your phone. You may want to go ahead and actually open up your phone to connect it to your device. And you may also want to select add a device button here up here at the top if you don't have a device currently hooked up. And we're just add a device, select Bluetooth, and then you want to make sure your device is turned on and discoverable. So close out of here. Now you want to open up the search menu again. Type in control panel. Best match or come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. You want to set your view by to category view and then select network and internet on the left side. Underneath network and sharing center, go ahead and select network and sharing center. Select on the left side where it says change advanced sharing settings. Go ahead and left click on that. And then on the right side underneath network discovery, you want to go ahead and make sure network discovery is turned on. So guests are public, you might want to just keep that turned off, but on your private network, you want to go ahead and make sure it is turned on. So make sure that is turned on as well as file and printer sharing. Maybe using a Bluetooth connected printer, you want to go ahead and turn that one on too and select save changes. And that's all you have to do. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.